What's up guys, today I'm going to walk you through and give you a visual tutorial of an animation. As you can see at the beginning, that was the finished product, and now we're going to go through and actually create it. So we've selected our photo, it's by a really cool artist, her name's, who goes by at rabbi underscore underscore rabbi, and right now we're going to select the photo and add it. And in case you're new here, the software you're using is Photograph Pro. Um, you can see the description and you can find the link to the software. Um, so we're going to go through and here's our photo. It's a really nice photo of a beach and we have palm trees and shells. And we're going to turn this into a living, breathing, moving work of art. So let's start off by clicking the mask tool and masking the objects on top of the photo. So a nice little tip I've learned is when you're animating and you're using the mask tool, it's a lot easier and faster and more efficient to use the hotkeys. So the hotkey to change the size of the actual masking brush is the brackets, um, both of the brackets. The right bracket will increase the size and the bracket on the left will decrease the size. You can use Plotograph for all sorts of art forms. Um, you guys can check out my Instagram at Frederick D. Barnes. I'll have it pop up on the screen. And it's a really fun tool to play around with to create your own works of art, whether that be you and your family at the beach, you know, say you're a makeup artist and you'd like to have your work come alive. This is a really great software to use. And I'll be doing tutorials on all of these different things. So here I'm editing the beach and adding the animation points. Um, we're having a little bit of flow to the water so we didn't do it in a direct line but we had a little bit of wiggle and you can see that the trees they're not max that's why they're going like that but we're not going to worry about that just yet we're going to animate the skies and make the sky move so we're going to select the animation tool I'm gonna also add animation notes around the mountains in the background so they don't move. Then we're gonna max the birds. The reason behind this is if I were to make the move, it wouldn't really be pleasing to me personally. Some, if personally your preference, um, I'd rather have them just still. But in some cases, it can be a good design to have them moving. But for this case, we're not. So we just max those tree branches, tree limbs, tree trunks, so that they won't move. And let's check it out. So it looks good, but we got a lot of things moving in the top left corner um, that we can fix. And we can possibly work on the outside pictures underneath the actual main photo as well. So let's check it out. If this program seems like something you'd want to use and personally check out for yourself, um, you can use my referral code 
for a 10% discount. It's in the left hand corner. Um, Fred in all caps. And use that when you're doing your checkout and you'll receive a 10% off discount. So here we go again. And we can see it's starting to come along nicely. We gotta fix the borders and the branches. I apologize for if you're hearing any background noises from myself. I will work on that for my future videos and they will be top quality for sure. <laughs> so we're starting to come together really nicely. Um, you can see the subtle animations on the left and the right for the background image and now the water's looking pretty well. And let's add a little bit of surreal effect to it by animating this tree and make the branches kind of sway and wave and flitter as if there's a wind. If you do have any requests of different types of images or things you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. I read, see every single one, so let's do it. Also, subscribe and like if you like these and you want more. Um, I do plan on trying to record every one of my animations, if you guys want to see it, of course. So let me know in the comments below or by subscribing and liking. And then we're gonna mask in between it so the tree behind it doesn't look like it's also moving. So just the foreground tree is moving. And you gotta make sure you get in between the corners. Every fine detail really changes how your photo comes out, animation. So I'm starting to like how it looks. It's coming out pretty good. Just gotta fix some tiny things on the side. We'll animate that. That's really it, honestly. And then we'll export it. And Whenever you're doing your animations, it's good. I'm doing it for six seconds. It's perfect for Instagram and 60 frames per second. Um, if you can do it in the highest quality possible, you should. And there we go. Here's the finished animation. This has been my first Plotograph Pro tutorial. Um, subscribe and like for more. Peace.